Hey guys, today I am going to talk about the demographics of Magic the Gathering and why this matters. So according to Magic the Gathering themselves on their own website, the average age of a Magic the Gathering player is 30 years old. In fact, let me read you this right now. The average tabletop player is around 30 years old. Players range from 13 years old to 45 years old. One third of players have been playing less than three years. One third have been playing up to 10 years. One third have 10 plus years experience playing the game. So that means that there isn't really that many new players coming into the game. And that means the game is, for all intents and purposes, dying. Um, if you take this data and you really kind of extrapolate it to the very end, then yes, you're not replacing enough players with younger players. And at some point in time, at 30 years old, you're going to move on uh, with your life. And this is true for most people, I would imagine. Um, uh, even people who, you know, they got to get families, they got, and it's the same thing with me. I, I always buy these collections and most of the collections are I need a payment for a mortgage or I need to put a down payment for a house. I need to pay for my kids uh, high school or um, elementary school. And in Texas, we have a lot of charter schools. Uh, public schools in Texas or where I live at least are extremely, extremely bad. And therefore, people need money for tuition, right, for their kids. And it's not exactly like money grows on trees nowadays money is difficult to have difficult to find and magic the gathering is one thing that as you grow up you need less and less of so the idea of investing in magic the gathering as a 30 year old is probably not the same idea when you're younger so the player base gets more and more old and they get more and more aware of finances and maybe they have to do other stuff now they have to buy a car they have to move out of their parents home they have to pay off student loan debt uh thanks to joe biden who didn't forgive the student loan debt right which is interesting um yeah as things get more and more different um people are going to need more money and the money that they need is not going to be necessarily money that they would spend on magic the gathering so i would be very shocked if 30, you know, 30, around 30 years age group, if that group holds true and they continue to buy this product for a extended period of time, mainly because at the end of the day, um, Magic the Gathering is what it is and it's not able to find new players. It is tabletop games are not able to find younger people. They want to play Minecraft. They want to play Fortnite. They want to play you know, anything, you know, anything that is uh, app based, right? Uh, most of the popular games for young people are mobile apps or in their cell phone. Um, it's not card games. It's not this. It's not that. Right. And in my personal opinion, um, that totally makes sense to me. Um, I completely understand the desire to not want to spend money or time on card games where they're very bulky and no, and, and mobile games, it's just on your phone. So even though, and you could even make the argument that some mobile games, you can sell the assets for money, right? Depending on the skins and things of that nature, you know, obviously, what was that? There was a skin thing, Majig, where you can gamble with skins. I think it was a Counter-Strike. Okay, yeah, Counter-Strike. And you could buy skins and gamble on skins and win money and so on. So, I mean, it's not entirely incorrect to say that um, mobile assets have no value they, they can't have value right and in the future i think magic the gathering is going to suffer immensely for the fact that there simply is not uh, is not a younger player base and they haven't really focused on the younger player base uh, making the games more important to them um, when you go to magic the gathering store when i used to go there would be young people there under 13, under, you know, and they're just kind of hanging around, playing games, they're getting promo cards, right, being gifted stuff, and that's perfect, that's great, 
um, in my opinion. Now there's no young people playing the game. It's all 30 plus year olds. And what do you expect will happen? Well, the eventual outcome is pretty much what anyone would know. If all your player base is getting older and older and you're not replacing them with young people, then the, your game is, in fact, dying. I've always been concerned. There was a big concern before COVID. It's like, who's collecting sports cards? Who's collecting magic cards now? And will that generation of younger people, will they support this? Will they want to eventually buy these cards? And I think the answer is no, that they're not going to want to buy these cards. Um, I have seen desperate patrons from Alpha Investment trying to sell off. You know, when you're 30 years old, you have other responsibilities that you may not have had while in college or in high school. And these responsibilities like having kids, starting a family, having a nice dinner or something like that. It is much more important um, to you once you get a little older and understand than more cards. More cards are probably one of the least important things uh, in your life, uh, at least in my life currently. As a 36 year old, right? Um, you know, you gotta start your start a family. You gotta start uh, focus on your business more. Save money for retirement. You have uh, healthcare issues, maybe for yourself and maybe for your parents. There are a lot of things that are happening right now at 36 that I didn't really, I didn't really, I was not very concerned with um, at all. Um, I was not concerned with these things when I was younger. And to be quite frank with you, um, I think a lot of times when people are concerned and, you know, it, it is difficult for me to say this, but I'm going to say this. Uh, we had a lot of vet bills and things of that nature. I had to, we had to do go to Petco or Vetco, they call it Vetco, which is part of Petco. And we had to get a lot of vaccines and so on. And the bills for, um, we had a foster dog. The bills for the foster dog, I'm going to read you the bill right now. It was like $160 or something. It was not cheap to get vaccines for our current foster. Uh, probably our last foster as we are hoping to have a kid this year. But uh, yeah, that this stuff is very expensive in life. You know, food is expensive. Gas is expensive. Beef is expensive. Things are getting more and more expensive with the inflation. And, um, you know, if people can charge more money, they will. No mercy, right? No mercy on the charging. So I do think when you're 30 years old, you have a better view of what life really is like. It's not uh, living off student loans, right? And that you don't know that you have to pay back yet and that you're hoping will be forgiven. It is uh, slightly different from that, right? It's a very very different situation that you're living in. Anyway, bye guys.